Hi, it's Rest and Protoss Expert, and I've got myself a copy of the free download from Metric Halo and Avid Thump, which is a percussive subharmonic synth. Now, if you're as old as me, then you'll remember things like the DBX subharmonic synth rack. And what it basically does is it follows the envelope of something coming in, and it creates a subharmonic synth to uh, complement that and it's probably better shown than it is to explain basically you can take the input signal and you can add an oscillator to it to create a pseudo subharmonic frequency and you synthesize a subharmonic frequency and let me show you first on a kick drum I've got a uh, just boom here uh, without it without it on first I've got a 909 kick that's why I've got uh, boom open so I've got a 909 coming in and that's your standard 909 kick let me open up thump now and I'll show you what happens. If you can see that, if I go to, it's coming in and that is being synthesized. And what we can do with it, we can do a number of things. We could choose a attack frequency. Now what I suggest you do is that you put on a pair of really good headphones or a sub. If you switch your sub on them, make sure your neighbors are out if you're gonna turn your volume up because we're gonna create some really low sub here. So first you have an attack frequency. And then you have a sustained frequency, so you get some really, really low bass. Right down from 440A all the way down to stuff that only dinosaurs could hear. And then you mix that back in. You've got that really big kick drum now. Then you've got an attack time and a sustain time. You want it really tight, really long ones. And then we have a pitch attack and pitch sustain. We have two oscillators as well. We could put a second one in if we want. build some really complex kick sounds. There's the original, there's the new one, and mix those together. And here's a bass sound I've got in here, just a bass loop I've got from the Apple loops. Let me play you this for a second. It's quite thin. So why don't we synthesize it? As you can see there, there it is. Really low sub. Watch you don't clip it there. Now you add them in together, of course. Let's move that one down there because I want to bypass them for a second without it. With it in. And a club, that would be really cool. Could really shake it. Mind your clip in there. Let's hear it with that again. No, 
now of course you could use it on whole drum loops as well so we could we could we could just open up a drum loop here that I've got already that's got one on as well and let's try that one there's the original and effectively retune the kick drum and then use the pitch attack and sustain to, to change the shape of that as well. You can hear that now. Let's bring that down there again. My guessing, of course, is you wouldn't put it on everything in a track, because that would be just sort of overkill, and you'd probably get all sorts of oscillation that's going on that would probably cancel some of it out anyway. So particularly for kick drums, for reaching in kick drums, probably snares as well, putting some body in a snare. There's all sorts of uses for this, and at the cost of absolutely free, then it's one of those handy things to have in your arsenal that you might use uh, several times a year but but uh, it's great and so say I remember selling the DBX rack version that was very similar to this in fact I don't think it had as many features as a subharmonic uh, synthesizer so so free go and download it from Avid now and enjoy using it thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon